If in ancient times you could make a bow and arrow like this, I guess you can rule the world. This is the modern compound palace. It's not just labor saving, more powerful. It's incredibly accurate. So how does it work, tradition? The structure of the bow and arrow is very simple. It's a bow and a bowstring. Pull the bowstring hard to bend the ends of the bow. To store elastic energy. The drawbacks of the traditional bow are also obvious. That is, its pull curve is growing linearly. That is, the farther the bowstring is pulled, the harder it is. It's very tiring to aim with a full bow. So the aiming accuracy is not that high. How can I save effort? We all know that a pulley system can save more effort. So the first generation of compounders put the pulley. But we know that the pulley system is labor-saving. But to lift heavy objects, longer distances to apply less force. And the same goes for bows and arrows, although the force is small. But he needs to be pulled more than a traditional bow and arrow. You can only do it by changing the work buddy to bullets. Harder materials to make up for it. But modern compounding has completely improved. The simple pulley system of the first generation compound engineer. The biggest feature is the use of non-circular cams. Cam passes through two different semicircles. Contour to control the bowstrings and lanyards. When you pull the bowstring, the bowstring rotates the outer contour, while the inner contour then control the winding length of the cable when rotating. It's basically leveraging. Optimize the tension curve of the bow. Make the compound work in different drawing processes. Offer different mechanical advantages, especially when it comes to job titles. When pulled to 80% of the maximum saw, you arrive at a resume point. We'll make the shooter. The actual pull that needs to be maintained is drastically reduced compared to traditional. Workers have always had to bear the pull of the whole process. The shooter can aim more steadily, reduce fatigue, increase hit rate, and the laminator's chem shape is also optimized for energy storage. Efficiency the moment he fills up can store more potential energy and through an efficient release mechanism, transfer most of the energy to knowledge. This increases deceleration and kinetic energy very powerful. It can even easily penetrate metal armor. Really stable and ruthless. 